if you're that guy, right? But I think that there's a necessary component. She has to have that mindset, right? There are just some women who are so narcissistic. There's nothing you can do with her. She is self-centered. She doesn't care. She runs into Richmond all the time. Like a lot of these beautiful modern day women who suck really bad, like they don't care who you are. They don't care what you've accomplished. They they just don't have it in them, right? But I definitely understand what you're saying with that, but it, she has to have that in her. It has to be part of her because some of these women are just out of control. And I don't, I don't know if there's any man who could tame some of these beasts um and that's not the majority of women but in all honesty there are just some women who are just awful you never ran into one of those really awful women who you never ran into one uh, Look, you so, had to man you so, had to this is what i think i think that i think that I, i'm sure y'all can agree with this different men get different treatment by the same woman oh uh, for sure no that's doubt. all i'm saying there's somebody for I'm not yeah. saying it's me. I'm just saying that it's somebody that she'll treat in this way that she needs to act as far as for a relationship. And it's somebody she won't. And if you're not the person she will act that way, don't date her long term. Don't No, I think I'm that. But do no no, but so do you believe that there are that every woman has it in them? Like there's one man that can just make them do all the right things? I say ninety nine percent. She ninety nine percent. 99%. Ninety nine percent. I wish that were the case. <laughs> I wish that were the case. <laughs> All right. So I give you an example. Like I and, and, and some of the, the relationships I've seen break up. Like, so I have an ability to communicate and understand the other person's perspective. We was discussing that earlier, right? How I can put myself in somebody's head and see what they kind of need to, to make the connection to understand, right? Especially when it comes to women. So I've seen relationships break up where I'm like, man, if I could have just gotten his head and operated for one month, I could have fixed his whole relationship, his family and everything he had going on. And he could have been moving forward as opposed to where he at right now. I see all the mistakes he made and where he could have fixed that shit at. And I, I think that it, it happens a lot like that. Like the way the way we think we are supposed to function or the way we function, it might be right for how you view things. It might not be right for how this relationship need to go or how uh the best the most effective way to lead because the, the truth about knowledge is that the more you know the more you understand you don't know you know what i'm saying and sometimes people think that they're moving in the right direction it may not be the right direction and other people can see that this is going to be a problem long term and you don't prioritize fixing it or resolving it and then when it breaks down they're like i don't know what i should have did if they really want advice and you tell them they'll ignore it and get into the same situation again that's why i saw it like the, the ideal relationship to me is one where uh, the woman has admiration to you enough that she'll try and mold and emulate you in some ways, right? Because she has that much respect for you that she looks up to you. In the relationships where, where the women look down on you or you're earning her to like you and love you or she feels she's just better, it does not work out long term. And I, you can see those relationships occurring before they get further down the line but men be ignoring it we be ignoring it because she bad because we want to make this work but we see it other people see it and we be ignoring it but it's some guy somewhere that she likes shit i thought I, i've heard women say i don't believe in polygamy but for bill gates i, I he can have me plus all my friends I've, I've 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 heard i've heard women say uh i'm not having sex on the first night but for Usher, I had sex on the front. You get what I'm saying? It's somebody that they break the rule for. And once that rule broken, all them other rules broken too. And they'll conform to what needs to be done to be the ideal wife. I'm just saying we got to make sure that we only marry the women who we are that guy for. Okay. Like that, Marcus. Anybody else want to add anything on this? All right. Yeah, let me. Um, I'm talking to tonight. <clears throat> Um, should a woman give up her career once she becomes a wife or even a man, woman? You know, it's, it's interesting. We, we were talking earlier and I wanted to touch, but JR, we, we needed to move on. I wanted to talk about that build together thing because we were talking about if a man has a plan and whatnot, then should he change if his woman? But then what about the young couple that should build together, right? Because he don't have no plan, but he wants to get married to this girl that he went to college with and how they do that? How does that work? You know, um, but a man with a plan that's dating an older woman that also has a plan is one of the reasons why a lot of older men typically date younger women. 
I, you know, I'm sorry for those that don't like what I just said, but that's just the case. Because when you have a guy that has a plan or a program, as we call it, or a vision for how the rest of his life is going to be, and a woman has established herself as a senior executive at Acme Incorporation, and she has a plan and whatnot, and if what she got going on doesn't match what he got going on, the guy is typically going to look past her. Because it's like, you know, that what you got going on over there doesn't really mix with what I'm doing. And I need you to be where I want to be. And so that becomes problematic. Now, the sex might be okay, but long-term relationships is very tough. And then women out here are frustrated because of that. Because they're like, I've worked all these years. I've done so well. And now I'm 43 and I met this wonderful guy who's 48 and he's not checking for me. Well, because he wants a woman that wants to get on his plan, even at age 48. He's worked so hard for him to get to where he needed to be. All the obstacles and, 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 and speed bumps that he had to get past in order to get where he is. He wants a woman that's going to be a part of that as opposed to a situation where he got a woman that's on a totally different stratosphere doing something completely different than what he's doing. So my argument for those that would like to know and over in Shannon Rawls army, what I teach my soldiers in boot camp is fellas, find you a woman who's willing to do no find you a woman who fits into what you're doing. No matter what age she is young and old, Find a woman that fits into what you are currently doing. Otherwise, you will have issues down the line when you both have different visions to what you want to do long term. Me, Shannon, I must date a woman who's into what I'm into. I, if, if, if I meet somebody, I'm 51 years old right now and I'm single. And if I meet a 45-year-old woman who's, who has the aspirations or a 30-year-old, 35-year-old woman who has aspirations to open a daycare, that probably won't work for me. I'm, in the, I'm, a, I'm a film producer. I am a film producer. I'm a content creator. And I'm a fashion designer. I have a studio and employees. I got a whole operation that just works like a charm every day and is chugging along. And I got <laughs> slots and positions and things that need to get done. And if you want to open a daycare and you want to open up multiple daycares and because that's your passion, we could probably have sex, but in turn, but I can't see a daycare fitting into what I got going on. Over it, it just doesn't, it doesn't fit into, it doesn't fit into my, into my program, my vision. Now, what, if, but her daycare can make so much money and it can do all of this. I'm not into a whole bunch of hustles and, and having a whole, no, that's not what I'm into. I need to date a woman that's into what I'm into so that, we she could she can this is where we talk about malleable having a woman that's malleable it's like listen but this is what i want you to do and the bible speaks to this you want to mold your woman like this is what we got going on this is what i'm doing and this is how you can make things better because of your presence but if you are traveling somewhere and ain't got nothing to do with why i need to travel or you got and we just button heads it's not gonna work long term and that's why i tell men to find a woman who fits into what you got going on if you're looking for long-term success with her. Otherwise, it probably won't. And, his, and it, to be honest with you, the, it, it's panning out that it doesn't work well like that. And it, we were sold that, you know, the Huxtables. You know, the father is a doctor and the mom is a lawyer and they come home and they raise the kid. That We tried that. This shit didn't work out well. 